What are some J-pop acts you should know if you're looking to get into the genre? Most people usually mention amazing acts like Hatsune Miku, Utara Hikaru, and AKB48 when making lists like this, and for good reason. But who else is there? Which J-pop acts should you know? Konnichiwa friends, Jonathan Mira desu. Today, we'll talk about J-pop's special hit. Do you like J-pop? 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 それを変更しましょうね。I get asked a lot about J-pop, K-pop, C-pop, and even a little bit of Thai-pop now. So I wanted to share some groups and soloists that I think are amazing. Some are a little older, some are a little younger. But if you're looking to explore the genre, here are some of my recommendations. Fujikaze grew up in Okayama Prefecture in Japan, listening to music of multiple genres ranging from classical to pop to rock to enka, which is a ballad-heavy style of popular music taking inspiration from traditional Japanese music. Originally beginning by uploading cover songs to YouTube, his channel generated millions of views. And although he took a little break for a while to focus on his studies, his YouTube channel still continues to be one of the main drivers for his growth. Japan is still the world's largest consumer of physical music, but Fujikaze took a more digital approach when he dropped his debut track Nan Nan and his follow-up single Moewa, which both came with exclusive EPs on Apple Music of cover songs. He dropped his first studio album in 2020, which debuted at number one on the Billboard Japan Hot Albums chart and was a featured artist on the rise on YouTube Music. Known for his hits like Matsuri and Kirari, the latter of which debuted at number one on the Billboard Japan Download Songs chart, Fujikaze was also named one of the most exciting musicians around the world by GQ. His music is known to incorporate multiple music musical genres from classical to rock, R&B, enka, pop, and more. His music videos often feature diverse casting, and the music itself is sung with his Okayama dialect, which notably allows him a little bit of stylistic freedom that doesn't necessarily always work with standard Japanese. So if you're looking for a fresh face that feels uniquely Japanese, but with occasional Western familiarity, check out Fujikaze on Spotify. You can also get your music up on Spotify with DistroKid. DistroKid is one of the leading music distribution platforms on the market, helping artists like you and me get our music up on platforms like Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music, and Tidal. One of the best things about DistroKid is they have a ton of features that help you promote and enhance your music releases too, including an automatic Spotify Canvas generator. This is a free, quick, and easy way to make your Spotify releases pop. Powered by Pexels, you can search for free videos to use for Spotify Canvases, which are short moving videos that play on mobile while someone streams your song on Spotify. Simply look through the large library of videos, pick your favorite one, and go from there. You can edit the video to be the right format and even choose how long you want the loop to run for. Anywhere from three to eight seconds. Hit next and then download. From there, you can send the song to your mobile device, open up the Spotify for Artists app, and upload your video. It's super simple and easy to use. What's nice about this is you used to have to make these yourself or have your music video editor create a special clip for you to use, but now you can cut out the middleman and just get this done ASAP. Use my special VIP link to save yourself 7% on your first year's membership with DistroKid. Link is in the description. Some of you watching may know Perfume, some of you may not. So in case you don't, Perfume is a three-piece girl group from Hiroshima consisting of Nochi, Hashiuka, and Achan. Starting out as a local group in Hiroshima, they eventually relocated to Tokyo, where they dropped their first nationwide single, Linear Motor Girl, in 2005. Perfume is one of Japan's top J-pop acts. Their breakout hit Polyrhythm in 2008 was certified gold and has been featured in numerous things including Dance Dance Revolution and the official soundtrack for Disney and Pixar film Cars 2. Their subsequent album Game is considered one of the most successful techno pop albums of all time and became Perfume's first number one album. In fact, all of Perfume's albums have debuted within the top five of multiple music charts. Perfume also has a long list of awards, including Best Asia Artist Award at the Mnet Asian Music Awards and multiple MTV Japan VMAs. They were the first J-pop group to perform at Coachella in 2019, and they've gone out on multiple world tours across Asia, North America, and Europe. Perfume is primarily known for their very distinct musical style, leaning heavily into electronic sounds, making pretty clever use of vocoders and autotune to create a really cool stylistic sound. Synth pop, bubblegum pop, pop, dance pop, techno, house, electropop, EDM, dubstep, and more make up their unique discography coupled with a digital futuristic aesthetic, Perfume is one of Japan's strongest acts. They're also pretty active on places like TikTok and Instagram, so give them a follow and stream Perfume. 
Gen Hoshino is a singer songwriter, musician, actor, and writer from Saitama, Japan. Beginning his career as part of the band Sake Rock with some schoolmates in the year 2000, the instrumental band was pretty successful. Gen played the marimba and guitar for the group throughout their 10 studio albums, mini albums, and OST songs. After disbanding, he continued to find success as a solo artist when his third solo album reached number two on the Oricon album charts and was certified gold. The album was his first release after suffering from a subarachnoid. Hemorrhage, which left him in the hospital twice, undergoing two major operations. After recovering, his fourth record, Yellow Dancer, dropped and hit number one on the Oricon charts, where two of its singles also served as the theme songs for the movie Why Don't You Play in Hell and the drama Kokoro ga Pikito ne, the former of which Gen starred in. Gen Hoshino has appeared in various TV and film projects and has even done some voice acting. He starred in the live action adaptation of Jose manga series The Full Time Wife Escapist, where he won. Best Supporting Actor at the Television Drama Academy Awards. He's won multiple awards for his music and film work, including the Best Album and Best Song Prizes at the Japan Gold Disc Awards for his album Pop Virus. His song Doraemon is also the current theme song for the Doraemon anime. Gen Hoshino's music incorporates elements of jazz, RB, folk, Dance, pop, swing, and more. So if you're looking for something a little bit more chill, but it's still relatively upbeat, Hoshino Gen san wa hite mite ne. Did you know the notorious K pop training system actually comes from Japan? More specifically, Johnny and Associates, where talent is signed at an early age and then developed over time before debuting, and Arashi is a prime example of that. Arashi, which means storm in Japanese, is comprised of members Satoshi Ono, Sho Sakurai, Masaki Aiba, Kazunari Ninomiya, and Jun Matsumoto, all of which have had massive individual careers in music, TV, and film as well. Their appropriately titled debut song, Arashi, released in 1999. Went number one on multiple charts and sold nearly a million copies. Arashi has had 54 number one singles, 47 of which have been consecutive since 2004 in their 20 plus year career. As of 2019, they've sold over 38 million records in Japan alone. They've released 17 studio albums. Six compilation albums and one EP, and have been endorsed by multiple brands from Coca Cola to Nintendo to Nissan. They've won 11 Billboard Japan Music Awards, 58 Japan Gold Disc Awards, where they've won Artist of the Year seven times. Arashi has also frequently participated in charity events such as the NTV 24 Hour Television Telethon, which raised over 11 million US dollars initially and then did it again five additional times. They also donated over 300 Million yen to disaster stricken areas following the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. Arashi has had a multitude of hits, including but not limited to Turning Up, Popcorn, In the Summer, Whenever You Call, Love So Sweet, Kito Daijoubu, and Kite, among many others. If you're looking for a boy group that's got plenty of infectious pop confections for you to enjoy, brave the storm with Arashi. And real quick, just some honorable mentions that you should also check out Baby Metal is amazing. Tani Yuki is an up and coming artist who's doing fantastically. Maya Sakamoto is a beautiful vocalist. If you've ever watched the clear card arc of Card Captor Sakura, she actually sings the theme song. And she's totally awesome. And of course, you should also check out Kenshi Yonezu, who is absolutely killing it as well. Those are just a few honorable mentions. Of course, there are many more. But anyway. The last J pop act you should know might already be familiar to you if you were on TikTok in 2020. Yoasobi's viral hit Yoru ni Kakeru stayed at number one on Japan's Billboard Hot 100 for six weeks and was the very first song to be certified diamond for streaming by the Recording Industry Association of Japan. Yoasobi is a special duo group comprised of Lilas Ikuta under the stage name Ikura and Ayase, who both had budding music careers before joining forces. Ayase was a producer, writer, and vocalist for rock. Band Davichi, and Ikura was a part of a cover group and did solo activities releasing music independently. Sony Music Entertainment Japan operates a creative social media website called monogatari.com, where users can upload stories they've written to share. Ayase received an offer from monogatari.com staff to produce songs based on the stories on the website, and then he found Ikura on Instagram, where she was uploading some of her music already. From there, they formed Yoasobi. Yoru ni Kakeru is based on Mayo Hoshino's short story, Tanatos no Yuwaku, and during the pandemic went viral topping multiple music. Charts and even became the first non CD single to top the Japan Hot 100 year end chart for 2020. Continuing to release music based on short stories and novels, Yoasobi dropped their first EP, The Book. 
which debuted at number two on the Oricon Digital Albums chart for five consecutive weeks and was certified gold by the RIAJ. Time Magazine included their track Kaibutsu in their 10 Best Songs of 2021 list as the only Japanese act on the list. They've also released multiple English language singles and contributed a number of theme songs for a variety of things. They've won numerous awards, including two Artist of the Year awards and Best Five Songs at the Japan Gold Disc Awards. And in 2023, they're scheduled to go out on their very first concert tour. Combining Vocaloid, Electronic, and Pop elements into music inspired by literary works, Yoasobi is one of J-pop's most unique offerings. So no matter what kind of music you're into, there's something within J-pop for everybody. So... Kite kurasai ne?